Why is ice hard? Why does water flow? Why does steam, well, flies away? To provide answers to this and many other such mysteries, we need to understand the kinetic theory of matter. The kinetic theory of matter presumes all matter is made up of tiny particles. We call them molecules. These molecules possess kinetic energy, hence they are in continuous motion. Along with this, there are intermolecular forces between them. These forces are like springs. If the molecules try to move away, the forces bring them together. But if the molecules come too close, the forces will push them away. And there is a constant tug of war between the kinetic energy and the intermolecular forces. If the intermolecular forces are stronger, they can overcome the kinetic energy. The motion of the particles is limited. They vibrate about their mean position. Such is the case with solids. And hence, they have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. The spacing between each molecule in solid is very less. And hence, solids can't be compressed. If the intermolecular forces are weak, there is more freedom to move. The molecules can slide past each other. Such is the case with liquids. Hence, liquids can flow. This explains why they don't have a fixed shape, although they have a fixed volume. The spaces between the molecules still too less, hence liquid also can't be compressed. If the intermolecular forces are negligible compared to the kinetic energy, there is a lot of freedom of motion. Such is the case with gases. The molecules move with high velocities, colliding with each other and the walls of the container. Gases do not have a fixed shape, nor do they have a fixed volume. They take the shape and the volume of the container they are in. The intermolecular spaces are large and hence gases can be compressed. One other mystery which the kinetic theory of matter was able to explain was the Brownian motion. In 1827, Robert Brown, a Scottish botanist, observed that a pollen grain suspended in water would perform random jittery motion. He wondered what was causing this motion, but couldn't really explain the phenomenon. Rather, he did not have the tools to explain the phenomenon. But we do. Let us take a closer look. The pollen grain is surrounded by water molecules. They possess kinetic energy and hence they are moving. When the water molecules collide with the pollen grain, they impart some momentum and hence causing the pollen grain to move. Because the water molecules are in random motion, they cause the pollen grain to also move randomly. With our naked eyes, we cannot see the water molecules and hence the pollen grain appears to move at random on its own.
What other phenomenon can explain using the kinetic theory of matter?